Hello everyone and welcome back to DFM TV. I am Dan the Fire Stick Man, your source for entertainment and I want to talk to you real quick about TP-Link's Wi-Fi 6 range extender model number RE700X. This is going to be a quick product review. I'm going to be honest with you guys, you know, I, I, I want to do something different on this product review because I want to give you guys a reference point to find out if this product, as great as it is, is it right for you in your home. Okay, and I'm going to give you a little bit of the technical part of it. I'm going to go as quick as possible, but I'm going to give you guys a reference point. So don't click away. Watch the entirety of this video because I'm not only going to tell you if the product's good or not, but I'm also going to give you something to work with so you can compare it to your home and see if it's worth the money for you. Otherwise, you can probably buy yourself something a little cheaper, easier on the wallet, and it's going to do the job that you need it to get done. Let's get started. TP Links Wi Fi Range Extender. Actually, I'm going to show you the picture right here. Okay, this range extender, it's $120 right now with Amazon. If you're watching this video, it's because you're thinking about buying it or you purchase it and you want to know more information. Um, I will be honest with you, the reason that you're paying more money for this range extender is because it is um, Wi-Fi 6 compatible. Wi-Fi 6, for those of you that don't know, is uh, if you think of your cell phone, going from 4G to 5G because 5G is a stronger, faster, more reliable internet speed. This is the same thing that we'll be doing in your home with your routers. We're going from Wi-Fi 5 to Wi-Fi 6 because it's a more stable, stronger, faster, reliable internet speed. So this particular extender has the capabilities of doing that. One of the questions I'll probably get on the comments will be, Will this work with a Wi-Fi 5 router, which is what most of you already have out there right now? The answer is yes, it will work with a Wi-Fi 5 router. However, um, if you're getting a Wi-Fi 6 extender, you're not going to get the full impact of what this extender can do if you're using it with a Wi-Fi 5 router. Now, if you're doing it with the potential of changing your router in the near future to a Wi-Fi 6 router, then absolutely, you definitely want to go with it. Now. Um, I'm going to just start off by telling you that the product is absolutely excellent. It is an excellent product and I want to start off by also saying that I'm not sponsored by anybody. Nobody's paying me to say this. This is a product that I review myself. Um, I work with it and I was actually very impressed and blown away that it actually does everything that it says it's going to do. Um, the, I can't say anything negative about it. So if you're looking to find out if it's a good product or not, it's definitely a good product. If you want to find out if it's good for you or not, you want to stay tuned. Because just because it's a great product doesn't mean it's what you need, and you and you may have may have may not have to spend extra money on something that you don't need. Okay, the other reason why you'd be spending $120 on this particular one is because they have a technology called the AX3000 technology, and what that does on a dual band, which is this is a dual band uh, extender, dual band meaning that it has a 2.4 frequency for those devices that only take 2.4 and it has a 5G frequency for everything else that takes 5G. And the AX3000 technology splits the internet speed between these two frequency on a very high volume of internet speed, more than you'll ever actually get from your internet provider. I'll give you an example. Uh, it will break it down and separate it on the 5G to 2,402 megabytes per second and it would um, break it down on the 2.4 gigahertz to 574 megabytes per second. It means it's faster and greater uh, capacity with the latest technology. Okay, so that's what you're gonna be getting on this. Um, you're less chances of this signal getting interrupted because of this technology. A, a part of a lot of great features that this particular Wi-Fi 6 range extender does. Now, let me go ahead and talk to you a little bit about the fact that you can also use this extender as an access point. What an access point it means is you're duplicating your router, okay? You know that your router, you're, you're out of between a range extender and a router, you're always going to have the better strength coming out of the router itself because that's hardwired right into your modem and it's shooting out that signal. And then your extender will pick up that signal and spread it out throughout the house um, so you don't have any weak points. Although, between both of them, the stronger one is going to be your router, your original router, because that's what's being hardwired to. Now, if in order to duplicate this, you would need a Ethernet cable to go from your router to the other side of the house to so this extender. And if you set this extender as an access point, basically, it's like having two routers in your home because they're both going to throw out the same amount of Internet strength. Okay. This will not replace your original router, but it will definitely multiply it if you use this as an access point. 
Most people don't have that set up with a long extension of, of an Ethernet cable where you don't have the Ethernet cable going through your walls to the other side of the house. So most people are going to use it for the main purpose it was intended for, which is going to be a range extender, which, which means that it picks up that Internet speed via Wi-Fi and then it spreads it out to the other side of the house via Wi-Fi to the other devices that were originally getting a weak signal because of how far the router is or how, how much of a range the original router can give, okay? So as for those things, you get that with this device. Now the access point is something that you get with most of your um, uh, Wi-Fi extenders. So it's not a big deal, but you mostly paying for the Wi-Fi 6 technology and the AX3000 dual band technology that this thing provides. Um, now let me give you a little bit of a scenario. Here comes the reference point that you guys are gonna use to go ahead and compare it to see if it's something that you need in your home for this particular one now i have a three thousand square foot home okay i also pay 400 uh for 400 megs of internet speed with my internet provider which is currently spectrum uh, i also have well over 40 devices simultaneously running my house at all times because i have a smart home um i let's see there's a lot of streaming there's a lot of gaming here in my house um now, one thing I also have in my house is that I have my own modem and my own router. I, I'm not using the equipment from the internet provider. Equipment might get the job done in most cases in small homes, but even then, sometimes there's a lot of issues with it. These routers that you get from the cable company, um, they're not the greatest routers in the world, um, and they go out from time to time. And cable company doesn't really care how, whether you get internet or not in your home, as long as you get a little bit of internet, they're fine with that, even if it's nowhere near where they promise you and what you're paying for. So it's up to you to really take the initiative to get in the equipment that's gonna get the job done in your home. Now, with my setup, I have many, many security cameras both in and out my home. All my locks, everything in my home is via Wi-Fi. I get notifications when somebody walks in and out of my house. I happen to have a child that has autism and um, this is the security that I need to take in my home to keep my child safe so this is the reason why I got all these things plus all the tablets television fire sticks computers everything else in my house is well over 40 to 50 devices at the same time when I was running these devices with the modem and router from my internet provider I was not getting the job done my cam cameras were shutting off uh, ring devices were not recording it was just a, a disaster frustrating disaster so I decided to make the investment and I got myself a a my own Aries uh, modem and I got an Amplify Alien router is what I got and I will talk more about that equipment on a separate video but basically ever since I got my own stuff everything here in my home has been running smoothly getting the job done with no issues whatsoever for over two or three years so you may ask Dan then why did you get this Wi-Fi 6 range extender if you have a high-end modem and a high-end router and it was getting the job done well, here's the answer to that. I recently had some modifications done in my house. I, re I did some remodeling. We ended up getting a pergola in the back and we're spending a lot more time in the patio. But as part of this remodel, what we did was we took away a normal door to get to the back to two French glass doors to have access to the back. Okay, something that we wanted to do for a long time. We finally got it done. But for those of you that don't know, glass makes Wi-Fi bounce off of it so glass and mirrors so if you have glass stuff around a particular area in your house and you're getting a weak signal it's most likely that glass item that you have that that's that's bouncing off the internet speed and it's causing that weak signal in that side of the house okay and if you couldn't explain it before look into that and it'll make sense there's two ways that you can go ahead and fix that problem first way is you can take a sheet and you can cover those glass things that you have so the internet doesn't bounce off that glass uh, but in my case with my doors I, I didn't have that option so the other way would be to get a Wi-Fi extender now if you have a glass items in your house and you have a mesh system which is pretty much a router and a few extenders that go throughout the house you may not see much of a, an issue there because those extenders and the strength of it will go ahead and bounce the signal to the, that part of the house that was weak originally uh, but this Wi-Fi extender will take care of that job. So that's what I needed. I needed to get access to internet when I walked into my patio. Which, again, before those French doors, I had no issue. My router took care of everything. 
but when I got the French doors, my my television that I have outside, my fire stick buffering issues, my cell phones, I couldn't even get through a website. I had to walk back in the house in order to get a good internet connection, or I had to disconnect from my Wi-Fi and connect, and connect directly to my internet provider's internet, um, sorry, from my cell phone provider, um, to get the internet that I needed to get the job done while I'm sitting on the patio, which is frustrating because when you have guests and everything, they want to have access to their phones. So that's why I decided to try out this TP-Link's Wi-Fi 6 range extender. I purchased it, and I spent $120 on it because it's Wi-Fi 6, and my current router is also a Wi-Fi 6, and I wanted to keep that same technology throughout all my devices. Plugged it in, absolutely loved it, no issues whatsoever. I, I For $120, I was just going to test it out for a week or two and see if it was going to work. If not, I was going to try something else. But I'm happy that I tried this one first and I spent the money on it because it has really blown my mind and it's done everything that I said it was going to do. As a matter of fact, I decided to connect all my downstairs devices to it. And guess what? This particular router, you can connect over 40 devices simultaneously to it and it will run with the same speed as if you had one or two. So that was also a big factor why I purchased this one. And again, it has blown my mind. The reaction time on my cameras wasn't bad originally, just hooked up to my original router. But now when I click on a ring camera or everything, my, the reaction time of how f fast that camera shows up on my on my phone and everything, it's, it's quite a bit of a difference now that I have this hooked up. And again, all my downstairs devices, because I have a two-story home, are connected to this extender. My upstairs devices are connected, connected directly to my router. So now, I'm not only getting what I was getting before and then some, but it's just it's boosting up that signal strength to my current devices because I have less devices on one item and less devices on the other item rather than everything on just one. Okay? I hope that's making sense. I'm trying to keep this as simple as possible. Overall, guys my review of this product is it is absolutely excellent but if you don't have a scenario like mine if you don't have 40 plus devices um, and you're using the router from your current internet provider um, any router that you get out there is going to be 10 times better than what you're getting from your internet provider that's just the god honest truth so i want to give you guys a recommendation that maybe this may not be the fit for you if you do not care for the wi-fi 6 as of yet and you still want to run with the Wi-Fi 5, which you can for a while longer until the technology changes and maybe gets a little cheaper too for you guys to buy, um, I will recommend getting a TP-Link's Wi-Fi mesh system. Now, why TP-Link's? Because they're very reasonable in price um, compared to other manufacturers, and they're really, they're really good about this particular product. I'm not sponsored by them again. I'm not being paid by anybody. It's just a good product, and I wanted to get something that was going to be reasonable for my family members, my friends, and everything that I could recommend that's not going to break their wallet but still get the job done, and TP-Links has really done it. The only reason I don't have a TP-Links router is because I got my router prior to me learning about TP-Links, but I still can't bash my router. My router, as pricey as it is, it is an excellent, excellent router, and I will not go back on that router. It's called the Amplify Alien, all right? So, here's my recommendation if you guys are okay with sticking with a Wi-Fi 5 router. And this will be a TP-Link mesh system. And they have one that covers about 5,500 square feet, uh, covers three to five bedrooms, and it only costs you $129 on Amazon. This extender costs $120. So for $10 more, you can get yourself a mesh system, which is pretty much a router with two extenders that you can put throughout the house. Now. You may not need something that big because your house may not be 5,000 square feet, may not even be 3,000 square feet. So they also have another option where you can get a Wi-Fi mesh system. It's a two-pack, meaning the router and one extender, and it's $110, which is $10 less than this range extender. So it, yeah, the only thing is it's Wi-Fi 5. It's not the Wi-Fi 6 technology. If you jump over to the Wi-Fi 6 technology, now you probably be spending about 180 and then falling into the $200 range. And you, and you can get yourself a mesh system that, that will cover that. For example, there is a TP-Link's Deco Wi-Fi 6 mesh system that covers 5,800 feet Wi-Fi 6, which is a new technology, and that will run you up about $195 on sale right now. Regular price on something like that is about $269. 
so if you're watching this video this will be the time to go ahead and click on that link that I have in the description of this video and see if you can get your hands on it for under 200 bucks when regularly it's 270 dollars comes with three devices the router and two mesh system they all look identical super easy setup and this you will not need any extender for because that's what the mesh system does okay so even if you have a smaller home and you're okay within that budget of getting this sell price buy it because when you get a bigger home or whatnot or even if you're switching from internet providers this will be your router and for a lot of you you don't even know this but if you look at your bill from your internet provider you're technically renting that router from them most of you are so check out the fine print it might be five bucks a month but five bucks a month add up when you have this company for years at that point you could have gotten yourself a router that's 10 times better and save yourself that five dollars a month charge on your monthly bill because you're renting a, a, a an item that it's required to get the job that you're paying for originally which blows my mind you know here's the car you pay, you pay for now you need to buy uh, four tires to drive it out of the lot you know, it, that's how I feel about that. If you're selling me something, then include everything that's part of that price, you know, everything that I need to get the job done of what I'm paying for. Anyway, that's just my personal opinion. But I'm not going to get too much further into this video. That's basically the, the gist of it. Um, the product is absolutely excellent. Check out the descriptions on or the links on my description of this video for those other products. Um, and if you have any questions or anything, you definitely want to let me know in the comments below and I will get to you guys as best as I can. And if you want to see me review another product, just don't hesitate. Let me know and I'll see what I can do about doing that. But you definitely want to subscribe. You definitely want to share, like, comment on this video, ring that bell notification because I'm going to be posting more videos on my product reviews of things that may benefit you in your home that's within a good, reasonable budget, okay? I am going to stick with TP-Links and a lot of stuff because I love how their product works for the price that they're selling it. Yes, it's made in China, which is a downfall to a lot of you. But if you can get past that point, this particular product made in China is actually living up to the expectations from a lot of technical guys like myself. Thank you guys so much for watching. You have been watching DFM TV. I am Dan, the Firestick Man, your source for entertainment. And until the next video, happy streaming.